We are so delighted to welcome all of you here to our RCSI Simulation Center, which is on the top three floors of this 10-story building. So here we are on the third floor, and I'm going to show you now some of our outpatient rooms. So if you just follow me this way. And to bring you in here now to our outpatient clinic room setting. So you'll see some of these rooms in just a moment. But as you see, as we're walking up this corridor, we have 10 different rooms here. And students have the opportunity to come in, to meet with patients, to meet with actors, to work with each other as well, and do things like conflict management, communication skills, breaking bad news, or history taking. So this is CAE Learning Space, our learning management system, and this is our control area. So as you can see here, faculty um, or other team members, other students, can observe the students in the room and how they interact with the patients whilst they're in there, depending on what activity they're doing. Um, but we can go in and take a closer look. So, as you can see, this is one of our outpatient rooms. Um, so we have lots of things in here to make it feel like a realistic clinical setting. Um, and these rooms are used by all of our students. So we have surgical trainees coming in here, we have our medical students, physio, pharmacy, and they come in and use the space to interact with one another, to role play, to interact with patients. Um, and it's great that they have that opportunity to feel what it's like in a safe learning environment. So this is our task training room. This is where you can have the opportunity to come and learn and practice clinical skills on mannequins before you meet real patients for the first time. It's a safe environment, which means you can learn, you can make mistakes, and you can work together to learn what to do before you go out and meet patients in clinical practice. So we're going to continue on and take a look at our inpatient rooms, where once the students come in here and learn, they can actually go and put them into action then with our clinical mannequins. We're very lucky here in RCSI to have such fantastic facilities where our students can practice and learn in a safe environment. Before they go out on their obs and gynae rotations in the hospital, our students can come in and practice with Lucina in a safe environment where they can make all the mistakes and ask all the questions that they want with expert faculty and fantastic facilities. They go out into the hospitals more confident and more capable to learn everything they need to learn to become fantastic healthcare leaders of tomorrow. Alongside Lucina, as part of their obstetrics training, the undergraduates get to practice with Super Tori, our paediatric mannequin, on their paediatric rotation, Sinman, our full adult mannequin, on their clinical rotations, and they also get to practice their clinical skills in our task training space, in our dry lab, and eventually, in our wet lab. Hi, welcome to the fifth floor of our simulation centre. And we're going to come in now to our wet lab. So we're just sneaking in the door here. So this is our wet lab facility. Here students and trainees have the opportunity to learn in a safe learning environment with both biological and synthetic simulators. Our laparoscopic trainers provide the opportunity for you to develop the dexterity and hand-eye coordination required for safe surgical practice. These real operating theatre lights provide an enhanced experience where it feels as though you're in the hospital setting. And our 4K cameras provide the opportunity to see the finer detail that your clinical faculty demonstrate to you. You'll have the opportunity to use these facilities and train in here as part of exciting events such as iChams, Surgical Society Days and Trauma Days. You can even come here and practice your surgical skills for competitions across Ireland and internationally. I'm so delighted to have been able to welcome you to our simulation centre today, even if virtually, but hopefully we'll get to meet you again sometime in the future and you can come in and join us and do some hands-on simulation yourself.
My name is Clive Lee. I'm Professor of Anatomy here in the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. In fact, I'm the 29th professor following on from a series that began in 1785. Our most famous professor was Abraham Collis. And in subsequent years, we've had William Thornley Stoker, who was the brother of Bram Stoker, Daniel Cunningham, and my immediate predecessor, Stanley Monkhouse. We teach anatomy here by dissection. As you can see in the painting over my shoulder, the students are dissecting, and then they are taught in the anatomy room by our surgeon presectors, retired surgeons with over 40 years clinical experience. This is all backed up by online surface anatomy guide, dissection guide, and radiology online, which all proved very helpful during the COVID emergency. We aim to teach our students the practical anatomy, which will underpin their clinical practice. The medical school curriculum is a systems-based curriculum, and so we look at the cardiovascular system, the gastrointestinal system, and so on. But we also emphasize the fact that all of these systems are placed inside the one human body. So we try to understand the spatial arrangement of, for example, the heart lying directly in front of the esophagus. So an enlarged left atrium can cause a patient to have dysphagia or difficulty swallowing. So this is the basis of practical anatomy clinical anatomy, which we emphasize in our course. We're very fortunate that members of the Irish public donate their remains to us after death so that the students can dissect in our anatomy room. In this way, they get to learn how to work in teams, to work in a practical fashion, and to see that not every person's anatomy is identical. We also have a number of donations from artists, which you can see in the background. And what is lovely is that all of these donations are just that, they're voluntary donations, which teach our students something of altruism, and in the way they behave towards the cadavers, it teaches them how to behave in a professional manner.